Hello there, I'm Gary Sims from Android Authority. Now, one of the main ways we interact with our smartphones, of course, is via its display. And there are different types of display technology that exist today that are chosen by different manufacturers because they have different advantages and disadvantages. You may have heard of uh, AMOLED, you may have heard of uh, IPS LCD, then of course we've got Infinity Display and Super AMOLED and Super LCD and Infinity Display and Retina HD, and there's all these different things. So what are they? and which one's the best? Well, let me explain. First of all, let's cut through all the marketing. There are these different types of displays that people and manufacturers talk about, Super AMOLED and Retina and Infinity. And there's basically two types of display. There's LED based displays and there's LCD based displays. Now an LED display is, as you find in AMOLED, is the LED part starts for uh, light emitting diode, just like you get on that little red light that you get on your TV that tells you whether your TV is on or off, that's basically an LED. Now in an AMOLED display, they are reduced down to very, very, very small sizes, and there are red LEDs and blue LEDs and green LEDs, and they're grouped together in little kind of uh, pixelated uh, forms, little triangles, okay, that when you light them up together at different intensities, you can get all the different color ranges. So if they're all off, you get black. If they're all on, you get white. And then if you kind of have more red on than you have other colors, you get a red color and so on. And that's how it works. And basically the A for the AMOLED part basically means active, active matrix. Because basically what happens is, is that there is a way of putting a thin uh, layer of transistors over the connecting up to these LEDs and it makes them turn on and off very, very fast, which gives you this active matrix uh, organic LED display. And basically, LED, this, this, the advantages of AMOLED is that you get this great contrast because when the LEDs are off, they're off. And you get these deep blacks. And that means that when they're on, you get this great difference in contrast ratio because you get these deep blacks and these bright whites that come up. You also get great viewing angles, okay? And th there are some disadvantages though. And one of them is this problem of screen burning. Now, I've done a whole video about screen burning. I'll link that here in the description below that tells you about why they burn in. Basically, the LEDs, after you use them over time, their color starts to fade, which means that when, they're in, when you turn it onto white, for example, you can see the outline of the LEDs that are starting to fade out a bit. It looks like the battery symbol or the home key symbol or the clock or something because they aren't so bright anymore. Now, when people talk about Super AMOLED, basically Super AMOLED is an AMOLED display and a touchscreen matrix that have been put together in a single unit rather than there being two that go on top of each other or with some glass or other kind of substrate between them. They are all part of one display and that's what they call Super AMOLED. And Infinity Display is basically an AMOLED display that you find on the S8, the S8 Plus, and of course on the Note 8 that basically gives you this idea of this edge-to-edge -edge bezel-less display, but it's basically still uh, an AMOLED or a Super AMOLED display. Now the counterpart to AMOLED is LCD, an LCD, liquid crystal display. Now I'm sure I'm gonna say LCD display, which really means liquid crystal display display, Okay, everybody does it, don't worry about it. LCD basically means that there are crystals that when you apply current to them, they can let a certain amount of light through or not let a certain amount of light through. And they all work by having a backlight which shines a light across the whole display. And then you change the crystals to let certain light through. And then once you add in some polarization and some color filters, you can basically get red, green, and blue coming up at each little place on the screen by controlling what light is able to go through from the backlight. Now the problem with LCD is that when you have a black display the backlight is still powering at full power and all the crystals are set so no light goes through it so you're still using the same amount of energy on a dark display on a bright display the same battery power is always being used now when you hear IPS that's in plane switching that's basically a second generation of LCD display that's got great viewing angles and also has some great uh, color reproduction and basically all displays today are IPS I haven't seen an, an old TN type of LCD display for several years now. They're all basically IPS. Now with AMOLED, you have this idea of problem of burning. Now, where there isn't a burning problem with LCD, but you do have the possibility of image retention, which is where a crystal has been 
twisted into a certain position, a certain amount of current's been applied to it, a certain amount of light's going through it. If it stays there too long, not always that crystal wants to return back to its natural relaxed state. And therefore you can get kind of uh, different images, artifacts appearing on the screen. Now, basically that's normally temporary if the display is driven to drive you know, different colors and those, those crystals are exercised again, they generally sort of free up and the, the, any ghosting or burning you see uh, should be temporary. So LCD also has its problems, but not the same type of problem as you get with AMOLED. Now, just like you've got Super AMOLED, you've also got Super LCD. That basically means a display and a touch screen that are built together as one single unit. And when it comes to Apple products, they've got this idea of Retina. Now, Retina displays are generally LCD displays. We'll just talk about the one that isn't in a moment. But basically, it's LCD displays. And it first came out in mobile with the uh, iPhone 4 because it had a greater screen uh, pixels per inch than the previous iPhone 3GS. And then when you got to the Apple device that got 720, P or greater that gave us Retina HD but Retina and Retina HD are basically LCD dis uh, displays but now with the launch of the iPhone 10 you've got Super Retina HD which is basically an AMOLED display, an AMOLED display and that is using a higher resolution so Apple have moved to an AMOLED display with the uh, iPhone 10. Now when it comes to color accuracy in the past uh, AMOLED displays have always been better at showing colors than LCD displays. Here is some graphs from white tests that I did for some devices from 2015, 2016, and you can see that the AMOLED displays did a much better job than the LCD displays. However, I've done some more testing now in 2017, and there is a less difference between the LCD displays and the AMOLED displays when it comes to showing kind of that pure white on the screen. So which is better? On the one hand, AMOLED displays have got this advantage of uh, having the off means off, you get less power being used, you've got good color reproduction. However, you've got this problem of burning on some devices. They are tend to be found more in high-end uh, flagship phones because they are more expensive to manufacture. On the other side, LCDs don't have burning, but they do have image retention. The color reproduction of today's IPS LCD displays are pretty good and certainly comparable to those of the uh, AMOLED displays. However, of course, the backlight is always on. Even when you're showing a black pixel, the battery power is still being used to power up that light and then it's just being blocked so no light gets through. Now, you'll find IPS LCD display more on mid-range phones and more on uh, low-end phones, but of course there are still lots of high-end phones, including Quad HD phones that are using LCD. So both technologies are moving side by side. They're kind of going along together and people have a preference for one for the other. Personally, as long as the display is good, and when I pick up a device, whether it be an LCD device or whether it be an AMOLED device, as long as I can see that it's a good display, good vibrant colors, good contrast ratio, personally, I don't care. But I hope this video has been help you to understand the difference between the basic technologies that we find in our displays. Because don't worry about the marketing terms, just as long as you understand now how each one works. Well, my name is Gary Sim from Android Authority. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to Android Authority's YouTube channel. Hit that bell notification icon so you get a notification every time we release a new video. And please go over to androidauthority.com because we are your source for all things Android.